What's up everybody, it's Coach Action Jackson. Quick video on how I eat ice cream every single day. Well, not every single day, but I probably eat ice cream like maybe three, four days a week. And uh, I eat it usually during the week as like just a little treat after dinner or something. Today I have some uh, Taliente Gelato Black Raspberry Chocolate Chip Ice Cream. Now, here's the mistake in, in, in the way people eat ice cream wrong when they want to eat ice cream every day. What they normally do is they take a container like this and they take a spoon and they just start eating out of the container and they just eat, 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 eat until their heart's content and then they put it back in the freezer finally and they say, damn, I think I ate way too much ice cream and then they just get fat and out of shape and overweight. So that's not how I eat ice cream. That's not the Action Jackson way of eating ice cream. The Action Jackson way of eating ice cream is to recognize, first of all, this is not a healthy food. So if we recognize something's not like the healthiest option, the healthiest food, we know we want to eat that probably in moderation, okay? Second thing is we know this is a domino food, right? Because this is a container of a large quantity of something. And whenever you, whenever you have a big container of a lot of food, boom, domino food. What is a domino food? Domino food is anything that you can eat that you're going to eat way more calories than you think of. It's like a bag of chips or like big bags of literally anything. That's why I only buy like individual size bags of like mixed nuts and stuff. Like I have trail mix in here. Look at my trail mix. Individual size bags because I know, look, I have the, I have the Omega individual size bags, just a handful of, because by buying the individual size bags, I know I'm not just going to stick in there for another handful. I'm just not going to go for another handful, another handful, another handful, and just keep eating them. I'm going to eat one bag. I'm going to get 107 calories, and that's it. And the psychological barrier of opening a whole nother bag, it's way too high because I know how many calories are in it, so I'm not going to do it. So I know this is not an individual serving. Domino food. Warning, 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 domino food. So when you know something's a domino food, you know, ha, all right, need to be careful with it, okay? So this is the way I do it. If you want to eat it straight out of the pint, you still can, but you have to take some modifications. So there's two ways of doing this. The first thing you can do, well, first, first of all, I look on the back and I say, okay, what is a serving and how many calories are in it? Okay, serving size, half cup, 100 grams, how many calories? 250 calories, 13 grams of fat, 29 carbs, 27 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein. Okay, that's that's a fair amount of calories, 250. Uh, I don't think I need 250 calories worth of ice cream. So if that's 100 grams, why don't I do 50 grams? Let me cut that in half. 125 calories of, of, of this, eh, that's not that bad, right? 150, 125 calories, that's not so bad. That's only like, you know, six and a half grams of fat. That's like, oh, you know, what is that? Like 15 grams of carbohydrates. That ain't so bad, right? That ain't so bad. That's a nice little treat. It's going to like whet the appetite, make you feel good, give you, satisfy the craving for only 125 calories. I'm good. I'm game with that. That's what sounds good to me. So I'm smart about the serving size I'm having. I'm going to have 50 grams of this. 50 grams, that's it. So there's two ways of doing it. First of all, you got your trusty food scale here. You got your trusty food scale, right? So you have your trusty food scale. I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna turn it on. And there's two ways of doing this. The first way is to grab a bowl and then you're going to serve yourself exactly 50 grams. So you're gonna use your scale, you're gonna use this, and you're gonna literally measure out and you're gonna weigh 50 grams of ice cream and put it into the bowl. And then you're going to put the gelato back in the freezer and you're going to eat the 50 grams in the bowl and that's it. That's the first way of doing it. I, that's a great way of doing it, but I kind of like to eat out of the pint. I don't know why. I just do. That way I don't waste the bowl and stuff. So what I do is I literally just eat out of the pint. As you can see, very organized when I eat my ice cream. Um, and I eat out of the pint and the way I do it is I just put it on the food scale and then I... It's, it's called tarring, by the way. If you haven't used the food scale yet, you, you got to get on this. It's called T-A-R-E, tarring. Tearing, tarring, tarring, I guess. Anyway, you press that button, and that's going to take it down to zero. So I'll show you what it is. So it's, let's turn it to grams. So we're on grams here, and it's at zero grams, right? 
you take this off, it's obviously gonna like wait. So, all right, so we know it's at zero grams. So from here, what I'll do is I'll take a spoonful and I'll eat. And then I'll have another spoonful and another spoonful. And I just keep setting it back down on the scale. And then what happens is, is it'll keep going until I see it go to 50 grams. And when it's negative 50 grams, I know I ate 50 grams of ice cream. And then I'll put it back in the freezer and I'll go on my merry way. So those are the two ways of doing it. One, spoon it into a bowl, exactly 50 grams. Or the second way, eat out of the pint, but keep it on the food scale. So again, it's on the food scale, as you can see. Food scale's at zero. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I'm doing this. So I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna have a bite here. Let me have a bite. Mmm. Mmm, it's great. Chocolate raspberry. You know, that wouldn't have been my initial choice, but my buddy brought it over when we had him over for dinner a couple weeks ago. And, mmm. He had, and he brought it, and it was literally the last one in there. I ate the cookie dough, I ate the chocolate, I even ate the Madagascar vanilla, which was really good. And this was the last one in there, and I was just like, ah, I don't know, and I finally tried it, and I was like, holy cow, this is actually really good. I really like it. The chocolate chips are excellent. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, great. I love it. Okay. So I ate a couple spoonfuls. Mmm. Mmm. Great. Put it back on the food scale. It's down 18. So I know those couple spoonfuls I had were 18 grams worth of ice cream. So then I'll have a couple more and then I'll just keep going until I get to negative 50. And then I know I ate my 50 grams worth of ice cream. And that's it. That spoonful was only four grams of ice cream. So now I'm down to 22. And again, I'll just kind of keep going that way. Now I'm down 25. Actually, I mean, I feel pretty good after eating 25 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away now. And that's it. So I just had some ice cream. I know that wasn't a lot. Normally I eat like 50 grams. Um, and then put it back in the freezer. And then I'm done with my ice cream and it's only 125 calories. It's like, okay, that's not that big of a deal. But again, you have to be disciplined enough and have the systems in place to do this. If you just start eating out of the pint, you're gonna eat way more calories than you think you that, than you are because it's a domino food. You're not gonna prepare for success and you're gonna be like, well, Jackson, why am I gaining weight? I'm getting fat. Like, I don't have the physique I want. Like, what, why don't I look like you? What's going on? Why? Be smart. Set yourself up for success. Remember, we're about systems. We're about psychology. We're about building the habits that you need, the skills to succeed for the rest of your life. So if you want to eat ice cream, this is how you do it. So you either, you, you have two choices. Either number one, no ice, ice cream for you. None, zero. Don't, can't have it. Or the second thing is, is set up the systems to win so you can have ice cream. It's those two options. It's those two options. And if you know yourself so well that you're like, Jackson, I just can't stop at 50 grams. I just can't do it. Then guess what? No ice cream for you in the house. Just don't have it in the house because then you're going to eat it and it's going to be terrible. So those are your options. For me, for there's something about ice cream because I know it's so unhealthy that it's like, okay, I know I'm not gonna go nuts on this if I, if I use the food scale. So as long as I use the food scale and I weigh and I measure and I do all that stuff, then I'll be fine. It's if you just start eating out of the container and just going, 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 that's the problem. That's the big problem. Do not do that, do not do it, do not do it, do not do it, okay? That's how you eat ice cream, if you want. If you don't want, then don't do it. But if you like ice cream and you really wanna eat it and it's like, this is gonna really make the diet more sustainable, Jackson. This is gonna keep me on the path to success. Then do it, okay? So that's it for this video. Coach Jackson, see you later.